everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video today, ladies and gentlemen. What the hell is this doing here? Today, ladies and gentlemen, we have a special video. If you guys remember, I think two years ago we did something similar to this, but we have added a ton of weapons to this, guys. Today, we're going to be going through my horror action figure weapons collection, man. You guys can see we have this big bin full of weapons right here. I'm just going to dump them out. It's insane how many weapons we got right here, man. I'm going to take you guys through them. We're going to analyze them and all of that different stuff and just kind of of uh, taking a closer look at it, man. There's a ton to go through here, man. I can't, I can't wait to get into it with you and showcase them. Obviously, some of them aren't weapons. You're not going to beat the hell out of somebody with a balloon, you know, but uh, they're in here for, for some reason. They're from the Pennywise figure, so, you know, it's too, I mean, I guess you could use these as weapons, as you guys can hear. However, let's just move it right along, shall we? Let's put the, we can put the balloons over here in the case. All right, guys, so let's zoom in shot right here. We're continuing on our theme of one WWE and one horror video every single day of October, man. And I, I, I plan to keep that up. Unless it involves both. Unless it's a video that features both of them, it will be a double upload day. So if we do a setup or something and it involves both of them, then obviously we will probably only upload once. But And I'm not going to name every weapon that comes with each, but uh, we're just going to go through them, man. I think it'd be fun, you know, just to kind of see where the collection is and you know how big it's grown and all those different things we have another balloon here forgot about that one but let's dive in man starting out first we do i know we're gonna see a ton of these in the video but we have a machete it's a smaller machete say maybe a little bit bigger than a small one it is pretty thin though it's got the black handle on there we have our first chainsaw we actually have both chainsaws okay so this is both chainsaw you have the regular version and then you have the atari version for leatherface definitely prefer the realistic version right i mean it's got the blood splatter on it it's got way more details way more realistic this is literally just flat green which I understand the assignment, you know, I know what they were going for, but I much prefer the realistic version right there. Next up, guys, we do have a small hatchet, which is nice. I, I believe this came with the Friday the 13th remake, Jason, if I'm not mistaken. I could be wrong about that, but I'm pretty sure that's where that one came from. We got uh, the first of probably a few hammers here. We have a nice tiny hammer. It's got some blood splatter on it. I want to say this came with Chucky, but I like the way the hammer accessory looks. Some of these can work with WWE figures as well or other action figure lines. We have a nice baseball bat, wooden baseball bat. I would like to see some wood grain in here, but I still like it. It's a good accessory, good size, and it scales well, so you, you love to see the baseball bat. We have a gigantic axe. Now, this one's going to require a little backup here. You guys can see all of the blood splatter. Again, nice wood grain on there, some blood on the handle. Don't know what this is from. Again, I don't know what all of these are from right off the top of my head, but a nice axe accessory. I'm sure we'll have quite the axe collection at the end of the video, like I stated before. Now, moving on, guys, we do have a shovel. Nice silver color. I don't think it unports like some figures we've seen in the past, but it's got nice brown handle. We got the steel on there. And it even went as far as putting little bolts right there, which is a very nice detail. NECA always coming with the nice details. We have the Good Guys yardstick right here. I could have swore it had blood on it, but I guess it doesn't. It's got Good Guys written on it, obviously, from Child's Play. And that's pretty sweet. You know, I don't know if it's accurate. A yardstick would be three feet. Probably doesn't scale completely. It might scale with the Chucky, but I know it doesn't scale with every figure. We have a meat hook, or a hook in general. You know, you can hook weapons on here. You can hook people's backs, you know, hang them from the ceiling and stuff like that, which is pretty cool. I like that accessory a lot, especially with the blood on there. Nice detail. Next up, guys, we do have the cube and another little piece of accessory here. Now, I don't know what this is. I know this is the cube from Hellraiser, if I'm not mistaken, but they have really nice detail. I don't know if these are weapons, but uh, they're, they're accessories that were found in the big box there, so we're just going to roll with it. We have Chucky's peg leg right here that he turned into a shank, so that's pretty cool. You know, you can interchange this with the other Chucky leg. Like the normal Chucky leg, you can unport it and then port this in to stab people. Moving on, we have another machete with the bloody stuff on it, black handle. Nice little blood on that one. Nice details going on with it. Nice sheen to it. We have our first of our mini knives, I'm sure. You got another blood splatter knife. Just really good details on these, man. I love the metallic black paint. It's just really realistic looking, which I always enjoy. We have a pickaxe. I believe this is from Friday the 13th Part 2, if I'm not mistaken. You got the pickaxe blood on there. I mean, every accessory is probably going to have some blood on it, but the pickaxe is really nice. We have a harpoon or a spear right here, which is really good, and it has really good link to it, which is always appreciated. You love to see the length in the weapons there and speaking of which we have more of like a steel beam type deal right here or a spike which looks really cool as well got a nice point to it too i feel like i could literally stab my hand with that that actually is painful to stab my hand with it so got to be careful when you're playing with these i know they're plastic weapons but they can do some damage in their own right so that's a pretty cool one right there back at it again man we have another machete and this one's solid kind of thicker blood going on right there but you have the black handle and the silver paint we have another axe you got like a darker brown red color going on 
pretty nice right there. Got some scuffage on it, which I appreciate. Yet again, another machete. This one has a little chip out of it right there, which is interesting. So the machetes is adding up, man. Somebody do a count of how many weapons of each we got. We have some hedge clippers or not bolt cutters, but they're like hedge clippers. I think this is from part five, Jason, or Roy, if you will. It's got the blood on there as well. And it's operational, which is pretty sick. We have another machete, you know, claiming the machetes, man. Blood splatter machete. We have a couple different kitchen knives here. We have like the, the regular plain one, and then we have one that is covered in blood. This other one is actually much bigger than this one, though, as you guys can see. So that's pretty cool. We got two different kitchen knives. I do not remember what this was from. Is it child's play? I don't even remember. We have this unique looking blade right there with the, the I don't know. It's got a it's very unique looking. We have a tiny spear right here. I think this is for, it's like a fire poker or something like that. Not quite a fire poker, but I think this goes in the Pennywise skull. We have a harpoon gun, which is really nice. Love to see that. I think this is part three, Jason. And it's not operational or anything, but it's still a really cool piece to include this. And you have all those nice sculpts in there. You got the trigger. We have another machete, you know, classic machete that we've covered multiple times. For some reason, this got lost in here. It is a pinhead head sculpt. It's got nails in it, so I guess technically it could be used as a weapon. You could throw it at people, so there's that. We have another another couple axes right here we have more of like a hatchet axe and then we have the translucent part three from the video game so that's pretty cool we have another hammer this one's a cleaner hammer could go in some nice setups and stuff like that good details on it nice silver paint another blade with blood on it what would it be in the video without a blade with blood on it if you don't have blood on your blade what are you doing man we have a meat cleaver with a hole in it to hang it up if i had to guess you do have blood splatter on this as well seems like a lot of people have the same weapon of choice you know we have a hook right right here which i do not know what this is from uh this may be a pinhead I, I don't even know it has this little clip as well i don't know what that's from another meat cleaver don't know if i don't think this is the same one i feel like i have not seen the same weapon twice so far which is kind of crazy even though there's been variations we have the ss georgie which again isn't really a weapon but i guess you could beat the hell out of somebody with a paper ship we have a oh, i was gonna say a shovel but that is a pitchfork i don't think you would be able to i mean i guess you could you could you know you could drag dirt but i don't think you're gonna be digging a hole with this it would fall right through, but the pitchfork accessory is nice, and it's pokey, man. It can do some damage. Another machete in the house. I feel like this has, like, an unrealistic blood spatter on it, but who am I? We have another harpoon gun, so this may be the first time we've, we're seeing a repeat accessory. However, really nice accessory, and it's got the uh, pokey end on there. We have another stake right here, or the long little pipe deal. I think, I want to say this is from part six. Friday the 13th, part six, if I'm not mistaken. You got the little steel beam right there. Here's the second shovel, and this one actually has a handle on it, unlike the last one that we saw. Really nice size to it and realism, man. You could use these for so many different waves of figures, but I really like uh, the realism and the silver paint that we got going on there. We have another machete. I wonder how many times we're going to say we have another machete, man. There's a ton of machetes going on. We have a little mini pitchfork, which is cool, and this one has the handle, so we're getting all kinds of variations as well from the weapons. We have another machete, but this is actually the on fire version, so we have a blood splatter machete with it on fire, so adds a different element to it adds a little bit more pain probably next up guys is not really a weapon but more of a prop and you have pennywise reaching through the book right there which is pretty cool oh and you get articulation out of it so that's pretty dope as well so that's a nice accessory we got uh pyramid heads big giant knife here and his hands even attached to it so you guys missed the massive horror box yesterday i guess that's where his hand went but this is a very badass weapon i've seen people make that in real life and it's insane we have another kitchen knife right here a fillet knife i guess you could say really thin you know you can cut up fish and all kinds of stuff and humans we have a buzz saw or a hand saw i guess i should say with blood splatter on i think that came with leather face another friday the 13th remake hatchet slash axe another harpoon gun except it does not have the harpoon in it so there's a different variation there the first one we saw may not have either we have a big old axe or hatchet again just adding up the hatchet and axe collection, man. We have a thicker machete here. This one's like, dead gun, boy. That is a thick machete with blood splatter. I really like that blood spatter pattern. That looks kind of realistic there. We have another machete looking good right there. Clean. Very nice. I think that's from the remake as well. We have the fire poker. I think this is indeed a fire poker. Very thin there. We have a few hatchets right here or axes. I think we've already seen these already. Or this is the remake of the part three video game one right here with the white blade. He also came with a machete, but here is the other 
end of that uh, that pole that we took a look at earlier. So it's got a spear on the end. We have another meat cleaver. This looks good. Uh, I'm not a big fan of that paint splatter. This one looks a little bit better. We got uh, three different machetes. So you have another fire poker, which is very cool. And then we have three different machetes. So you have blood splatter, another blood splatter, and then you have the uh, machete with the white blade that I was talking about a second ago with the video game. But I hope somebody's commenting down below how many weapons of each we have, man. We're down to a smaller pile here. We have a kitchen knife that has a pretty substantial amount of blood on it, and it's pretty on big. This is a big one. I don't know what figure this goes with, but it's a gigantic. We have a standard kitchen knife, which is very nice. I use one of these all the time, so that's pretty cool right there. Love the way the sculpt is, man. We have, I don't know what the, is this a steak? Okay, yeah, we have a steak right there, you know, you can hammer that down into somebody. We have a few more kitchen knives here. Dead gum with the kitchen knife. So you got the longer one, you have the fatter one that we just took a look at, and then you have the brown one that is also fat with some blood on it. Again, man, you get tons of variations with these NECA weapons. Like, you, when you pick up, you know, different horror figures and then you add up all the different blades and, and things that you get with all these figures. It's kind of insanity, but next up we do have Chucky's hammer or the good guy's hammer, which is really nice. It's more of a smaller size. We have the razor blade, which is pretty cool as well. We have a syringe, which is a very sick accessory. Holy crap. Very nice weapon of choice indeed. You could do a lot of creative things with the, with the freaking injection needle or syringe, I should say. You have another fillet knife in the black color instead of the brown. We have another machete, which has some like... Uh, uh, like some, it's, it's definitely been roughed up a little bit, so there's that. Oh, look, we actually have a firearm here. We have a little mini pistol that came with Chucky, so that's pretty cool. A little handgun. Nice gunmetal gray going on. We have another machete. It's got a nice curve to the blade right there, and it has blood splatter on it. We have whatever the hell this is. Some sort of tool that you can beat the hell out of somebody with. Another hatchet with some blood on it, which is always cool. In the hat, like this is an axe, but it's also a hatchet, or is a hatchet when it's shorter. I think this is an axe. We have another axe, and we have a wrench, which is pretty cool. Didn't, uh, forgot we had this one. So you got a nice little red wrench you can beat somebody up with. Reminds me of Clue or something. We have another one of those weird weapons. We have a little mini knife right here, which is kind of crazy. We have another fire poker, so that adds like three or four to those. Another machete, which makes number like 12. Another axe, which makes like number 12. I like the way this one looks with the dark grain on the wood. Yet again, another kitchen knife with the brown colorway. Another axe, all silver with the light grain on the handle. We have another knife blade. I think this is a, a switchblade, if I'm not mistaken. Nice little switchblade. You know, you push the button, it goes shh, and then you just go after people. Another pitchfork accessory, except this one actually has some blood on it, so that's pretty cool right there. I don't think the others had any blood, so that's pretty nice. And then if we get the big weapons out of the way, let's go ahead and get the big weapons out of the way, and then we'll kind of see what we got cooking over here. Yet again, another fire poker. White handle. Don't think we've seen that one. We have a stick. I don't even remember where this is from, so I don't know. We have another knife blade with some designs on it. So that's pretty dope right there. Nice sheen to the handle. We have a flare accessory, not necessarily a weapon, but I guess you could use it as a weapon, but it is going off right there. Nice smoke details. We have yet again another machete accessory for another weapon. We have a nice needle right here. I don't even know what this is. Ice pick? It's an ice pick, you dumb, stupid idiot moron. We have another buzz saw slash hand saw there. And then rounding out our smaller weapons, guys, we have another wrench, which is probably a little bit, you know, it's got some blood on it and some nice silver on it. We got a few more knives here. One with some paint, or paint splatter some blood splatter and then you have another standard kitchen knife i swear to god we have a million of those and then we have the bottle opener and we have a last final machete so please let me know down below what the final machete count was but we do have to count these two machetes over here because these are massive like look at this right here man this is a gigantic like look at my hand it's the length of my hand so this is a very big machete accessory with the you know the damage to it we also have this big old axe here these come with giant figures so it makes sense that they're so massive again look at that right there got some blood splatter on that one we have the blood soaked machete which again comes with giant figures man that's where you get all these giant weapons we have the harpoon accessory which looks nice i feel like the head may be a little bit too big but it's got it's got some nice dude you could you could i think you could really hurt somebody with that one i'd be careful with that one and last but not least guys we have a gigantic axe here which looks very sick and you guys can see how diggum big it is, how long it is. You could literally freaking tomahawk chop somebody's face off. You know what I'm saying? So that is pretty much all of the figure weapons, man. Like, I got to get them in here so you guys can see exactly what we're messing with. Like, a ton of figure weapons, but I had a ton of fun rolling through all of them. I would love to know what your favorite weapon was and uh, what uh, you would, you enjoyed most about them, man. Collecting NECA figures is really awesome. It's the same thing with WWE figures, man. If I went through my weapons collection of WWE figures, let me know down below if you guys want to see that. Tons of weapons out there. I mean, you 
you could use some of these for WWE. Obviously, you know, they don't stab people and cut them open and bleed all over the floor, but I don't know. You might can get creative with it. Maybe the wrench accessory or the fire poker or I don't know. You could you could do something here, but that pretty much wraps up the massive horror action figure weapons collection, man. I hope you guys did enjoy it. Let me know down below what your favorite weapon was or uh, what your favorite horror franchise is, and maybe I can communicate both back and forth with all you, with all of you guys. But thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you, and don't cross the line like uh, me when I ended up with 152 machetes. You cross the line.